They're led by a freshman, Nate Counties. Comes in as the second leading scorer in the Southland Conference as he has been putting up for here by the Cardinals. The Cardinals struggled last year. 2-27. They didn't get a Division I win last year for Howard Brooks in his first year. Point of the season after a game-high 21 points from Nate Calmes. What's left than Mr. Nate Calmes? Can he be the hero again? Yes! That was your game winner. who thrives under pressure. He wants the ball yeah. in his hands when it's coming down yeah, for the doubt. last seconds, for sure. No doubt about that.
Our six foot ten senior from Cypress, Texas, number four, Bucky Murray. Our six three freshman from Phoenix, Arizona, number ten, Andrew Dean. Our six foot five senior.
Good with y'all, man. Post game 32 goals. It's nice to be back. That was a really big game for us. We had to win. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? <laughs> nah, but I had to go crazy. You know, must win. So I had to do it for my team, man. Back at it Saturday. You feel me? But we in the dorms of Lamar University. It looked kind of weak, but y'all gonna see. What's up, C? What we on? Welcome to the room, y'all. Found my key real quick, if I can. Hey, the room kind of dirty though, so. Your colors away. Don't say too much in the comments. Oh, room helly dirty. <laughs> That's a moment. Damn. <laughs> y'all see the setup though. Sweet little nice little. Smooth little setup, you know. Got the kicks. Always gotta have the kicks, you feel me? Got the the best candy always on deck, you know, dirt cluster, you feel me? But that's about it for y'all man. Something simple. Finally, uh finally made it, you know. Zoom in. So top, you cracked it? Top one hundred in the country. Seventeen point four game, you know. <sighs> Freshman. Just turned nineteen. Number one freshman score? Second. Who? Uh, you know, oh, Brandon Miller. 17.8? So what is he at? 18.8. <laughs> oh, going crazy. Brandon Miller, the truth. You just bumped your shit up by like 0.6, is it? Yeah, 0.6. Do you, do you know what that black commentator said yesterday? What? He said how you're a great player and you bring so much energy to the team and you're a freshman from uh, Gilbert, Arizona. You went to Mesquite High School. Starting lineups first for the Lamar Cardinals. Number two, we talked him about about him a moment ago, the high scoring freshman, Nate Calmese out of Gilbert, Arizona, 62, 164. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Mr. Nick Calmese, Mr. Clutch, I like to call him for the last couple of games. He had some buzzer beater shots down to the last, last second. And Nick Calmese is playing outstanding for Lamar Cardinals this season. Their most consistent player has nine, his ninth 20 point performance this season as well. So anticipate Nick Calmese, the freshman out of Gilbert, Arizona, continue to have success in the first quarter. And half, but that lead was down to just one point with 12 seconds left than Mr. Nate Cummings. Can he be the hero again? Yes, that was your game winner. Lamar stuns Corpus Christi. They would add a free throw. The final was 68 to 66. You get white chip? Yo, yo, yo. So this is, so where are we at? This is the 
flexibility. This is the Montaigne. This is where we get all our work in and shit. You feel me? Who's in the right for girls? What? Ninja. Yeah, the girl. It's a little sneak peek of our film room. Walk in. So we begin all our work in our film. Supposed to have some like LU pictures coming on the screens. Right here, I sit right there. In the corner? Third row on the end, on the aisle. That's where we just be watching film and shit. Tough film room. It's the Cardinal Club room. So we you know, our pregame meals and stuff. That's really about it. Girls practice. I'm really supposed to be in study hall right now, but we don't talk about that. Huh? Back in <laughs> it's a locker room, you see. You see the city. You know where we from, man. You know, shout out my fellow Arizo Arizona. Adam Hamilton, my boy. Phoenix. Dirty. Tough practice, is Got the, got the kicks. Oh, what the little, what the hell you cutting? Look at that game. Look at the look. I would never put these on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> never ever. Oh, under the Trainer room. My boy third. Good. Lob twin. Sleepy. Good morning, boy. Okay. This is the this is the trainer room. None too much, you feel me? Down there is basically just like the same stuff, but the girls side. And here we got my boy Yuto Yamanuchi. This is where we be gaming at. Where's the PS5? They took it. Yeah, we usually had like a team PS5 in here. It's Max a little setup. My boy Max, we just be in here playing COD all day. But that's really about it. What team lounge? Yeah. That's about it, man. Bro, I. Can't be safe. The camera was off. I think it's back on now that way. Danny. Picked up, man. What's the word? Yeah, I'm like the. This is my guy right here, Danny, the trainer. Hey, Shout out, Danny. Is this open? <laughs> nah, not yet. Oh, man. Everybody on their best behavior now, huh? <laughs> They're on his regular behavior, just sleep. Hey, make sure you don't get Adam on camera, man. I already shouted him out, you know. My fellow Arizona man. You know, you know who I am, they count me from Gilbert, Arizona, you know, at Lamar University now, you feel me? What's the biggest difference between being here at Lamar opposed to being at Mesquite? I'm just really like learning the game of basketball, learning how to st uh, study uh, scout sheets, stuff like that, know the scout, know how to win, just just learning how to be a winner, really, that's really it. I see that I can develop at the D1 level, you know, just my coaches trusting in me, just pushing me every day, just really getting pushed, you know, in high school I wasn't really pushed like that, so just being able to get pushed every day. Is it harder to win? It's way harder to win. You have to, you have to prepare right every day, like, you can't have no bad days in practice, you can't have no 
no distractions, nobody missing practice and stuff like that. So like for us at the beginning, it was really hard to win because we had a lot of people getting hurt, missing practice. So we never really got to build chemistry. And that's real being in college basketball, just knowing how to play with each other, playing with each other. You have to really, really to win, you have to have a perfect game every game. You can't have a lot of turnovers, can't take a lot of bad shots. So basically you just got to prepare right every day. And that's what I really learned to win at this level. Oh, you hurt your little hand. The only issue is that it makes it slippery. Like when you try to shoot. But we can try it for practice. I don't think you guys do too much. And then after practice, we'll just I just didn't want to ignore it. You can help them. You got away with something. Did you call all American? No, like it. Want to be off this? Want to be off for the season this year? Marilyn. Marilyn. Yes. Tennessee. Tennessee. That's just crazy. They because they only give you shit about me and Maisie. Yeah, I know. I know. I was gonna say. They're like, oh, you're from AZ? I didn't even know. Oh, that's, that's just sound bad. Yeah, yeah. No, it's because they looked it up as like a top five safest city in the world. Yeah, they. they <laughs> <laughs> when he guarded me, I got a 98% chance of scoring on him. He really can't fuck me. Nah, good one, Trey. 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 Good one, for the other what y'all finna do right now? Hey, we'll have a little film session and shoot around. And then later? Shoot around in Houston and then go to the hotel. And then that's about it for today. Uh, Coach Mikhail McLean, Lamar University. Uh, so actually, I wasn't very involved in the recruitment of Nate. Um, Nate was recruited by Coach Harold. That's from the Arizona, Arizona area as well. And um, we watched a lot of film on him. We saw a lot of stuff that he was doing. And our thing, our concern was that would it translate to this level? We saw how efficiently he scored it, passed it. He was athletic. And that was a little, a little bit of our concern that the more film we watched against better competition, he did the same thing. So we were like, you know what, that translates. It's the, the level of physicality, the speed of the game. Um, Nate kind of struggled to adjust to the level of physicality early on. Um, but our guys in practice do a good job of defending him and give him a good look at it. Um, he kind of showed us early. We had a scrimmage probably about three weeks before the season started against one another. And he had a game in the scrimmage where it was just inner squad. I think he had like, like 30 points. And it was a short, condensed game. And like after that game, everybody kind of went away, was like, this kid's for real, you know? And then we, he carried that confidence. Our first exhibition, I think he had 35 points, something like that. He was like, you know what, I could do this. And once he did it, and he had success doing it, like the whole year he felt the same way. So he's really confident. Do you feel confident as a coach that like, your freshman is leading the team in scoring. Like, do you mm -hmm. feel like do you feel like that's a like a testament to the team and their ability to like be unselfish mm -hmm. and and let him be him, or do you mm -hmm. feel like that's a like a hindrance to the team? And I'll say this early on, I didn't think Nate would be our lead scorer. I thought he would score a lot. I thought he'd be. Some games he have 20 points, some games he might have seven. But those scrimmages and early on in the year where he kind of asserted himself and he showed that he was good enough. 
the guys kind of, I don't want to say they took a back seat, but they were okay with him maybe taking a few more shots and doing this stuff. And he kind of earned the right through practice, through games, to be that dude, you know? So confident, his swag is good. It's, it's infectious because other guys kind of like, they start developing a little bit more of a swagger about him too. Um, he's a great kid, man. I'll say this, as talented as he is, no matter how many points he scores, no matter how little he scores, he's the same dude off the court. Like, he's yes, sir. He wants to watch film. He wants to learn all that stuff. So he's uh, he's respectful and he's he's grown a lot. And it's a testament to our our coaches and our players because all of our kids are really good kids, you know. So basketball aside, he's a really good human being.
how do you think he's like changed like for the better since he's gotten? I think he's I think he's learning how to be coached hard. Um, he struggled earlier because he hung on to every word that we said, you know, whether that's, you know, a mistake on defense or whether it might have been a, t a bad, not a bad shot, but a shot where he could have passed up. And he's learning how to be coach hard. He struggled with that a lot, but he's really becoming better at it. And he's allowing his teammates to coach him hard as well. And he's coaching them back. So I think he's starting to grow a little bit as a leader. I worked on my game a lot this summer with Coach McHale and with Gabe just to be more efficient, you know, because in college basketball, you know, your percentages matter a lot. You can't just be jacking up shots. So I just really just slowed down the game, like how to get to my certain spots and just get my shot off that I know I can make. That's really it. You're playing other good players. How do you really, how do you deal with other people talking back? Uh, really just let your game talk. You know, if you're performing and you're talking, it, it, you, it says stuff for itself. But if you're just not hooping and you're talking, it's just really just chirp. So really just, Hooping, you know, in this in this conference, there's a lot of older guys, a lot of seniors that want to go to the tournament. This is like their last go go around, so they got a lot of desire to win every game. So just going out there and to be able to kill against them, older guys that's been in the division one level, and and be able to talk to them is is a is a good thing. It means to you uh, to be the number two freshman scorer in the country. Is that is that something you planned on being? Is that something you set out to do, or is that just a uh, all it was just always a goal to just to just be myself and do what I did in high school and try to translate it uh, to the next level. Um, but I think it really shows that that in high school I was that it's, I wasn't just playing bad comp or I just wasn't good enough. I could show that I could do it against anybody at any level. So that's what I think I'm proving right now. Um, and what is this? What is having a career high in the last game like? What does that, what does that mean to you? I just think it was really special, especially because my mom, my dad, my grandma, uh, my man's AC was here. So I just think it's just really good to just put on a show for them when they're here. Like I said, I always like to put on a show for my family. So especially with them here and have a career high against some of my old guys I used to play high school with or from Arizona. It's just, it is really special to be honest. What is your biggest goal going into the, the next game on Saturday and then the next couple games going into the end of the year? What's your biggest goal going forward? Well, my next goal into the next game is just stay consistent, uh, get another dub, you know, so we can move up in the rankings in the Southland. Uh, really just try to win out the rest of the season, get to that in, uh, Southland tournament, and try to get a higher seed so we have to play less games to get to the NCAA tournament. That's really my goal, to take Lamar University as far as possible. I get an order of fries and then. How would I make to be uh, What's like the, what's the choice? Medium, medium, well, well done. Uh, medium, medium. Regular fries? Yes, please. And then can I get uh, cookies and cream shake? Whipped cream? Uh, no, thank you. Uh, okay, let me get a, let me get a chili cheese, no queso. Chili cheese what? Burger, dog, burger. burger. The burger. How would I make to be Uh, medium well. No queso? Okay, so let's substitute that for like America. Nathan, Bailey died today. What? Yeah. Who? Bailey. Do you feel like there's a target on your back when you 
go to other places and play with the opposing fans, they know like your backstory, they've seen the episodes, they know who you are. I feel like there's a big target on your back. Yeah, I really feel there's a big target on my back at any game, especially at at home and away, because at home, coach is always saying, best player, no, don't give him no space, stuff like that. Then in away games, like tonight, fans are going crazy over my name. I mean, I, I think it's it's cool to like to know that people know who I am and know what I can do, so. And teams from like all over the country now, it's not just teams from Arizona. So like people, I know people like pick, make fun of you for being from Arizona, like you like, how do you feel about that when people like make fun of you for being from Arizona? I don't think it's funny because like all my teammates every time I bring up Arizona they always think it's like weak like there's no one good there but I think it's just funny because of all the people that have came out of Arizona you know shout out Tata, Daylin, all them, Jalen Williams you know those are my guys so just to see them come out and put on a show in the NBA I, I think I can do that too and just like really whenever they say something like oh Arizona week I say we got pros in the NBA y'all don't so I feel like that's just a cool thing to say. How do you feel like you bring that like what do you feel like is part of your AC swag like you bring the AC swag? Like just that's what we do we like to put the ball in the bucket and we just like to just show out really. If you can just have a name one word what do you think you do? Swag. Swag? Yeah. Yeah. Swagger. That's it.